I know, the, the gameplay actually was so high level, I'd be afraid of playing him. How many people in Platinum would just straight up die to get up to this? Because in the last 10 years, not a single North American won a tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Rank Roulette. Today's guest is the original German taxi driver who brings all the queens to where they need to be. Give it up for... Lambo! And on the other side, the man that definitely prefers to travel over the water, it's Harston. Wow, TVT by far my favorite matchup, Lambo. So I'm my glad favorite we're starting. Well. Yeah. Nice okay, 420, drop. he arrives with a drop. He already has a natural. Both of them do. Both of them have good work accounts. Both of them are making Ravens, which is like the best unit in the matchup. And actually targeting down workers as well, flying away with the meta. Ah, this is very high level immediately. Ooh, ah, and he has nice. Maru around wow. this command center. You saw that? Not supply block as well. Not sure why he's getting the Cyclone upgrade, even though he's going bio, I guess, for those two. Yeah, it's a mistake. He doesn't know it Team yet. Pick up. Your forces are taking damage. Two Ravens. Okay, this isn't as clean. Macro's still pretty good. Six minutes in. Yeah, they have a lot of crap, honestly. They really do. Yeah. Auto turret placing is always difficult. I can't blame yeah, the blue yeah, guy yeah. for losing all the ravens during that. Yeah, I, that I mess it up myself as well, very often. I, I feel like this is just very high level, honestly. Like, yeah. the macro is good consistently. The worker count is a little bit low for red, but something might have happened there, like losing 20 workers. And everything else just makes sense. Like, the build orders, like, even the micro, the way they engage. I don't, I'm a big fan of this. 88 workers, a little bit too many on, on free base. <laughs> okay, I didn't see that. <laughs> it's a slight oversaturation. <laughs> oh, he's going for the SCV pool, he realized as well. <laughs> oh, that's actually, that's really high level, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The fact that he realizes, yeah. Use it as no. tanking force. I like that. Yeah, and it actually helped as well. Probably won him the fight. Beautiful stuff. At 40 SCVs with him or so, or 30, 35. So, yeah, this has nothing to do with the replay, but do you actually play on NA sometimes? No. Okay. Never. But I do believe that at the highest level, there are just less good players. Now, how did I figure this out? It's because in the last 10 years, not a single North American won a tournament. <laughs> 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 they didn't have to play on their ladders to know that. Yeah. I, I mean, for American standards, this has to be the very top now. Like, this is so high level. Just everything felt good here. At least to me. This is better I mean, than I, don't, I played I don't, uh, Isn't the yeah. NA Grandmaster, he goes to pretty low... Uh, MMR, I think. So the question is, did, does this guy look like he played 30 games in the last two weeks? That, that's a real question. That is a real, <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. I, I like that. I didn't even think about that. He might not make the game requirement. That's the reason why he's stuck in Masters 1. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Tyrant players usually don't play that much. They spend more time complaining, so... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, where... Uh, yeah, let's that, that, send it in. I think we both have a pretty a decent idea of what this is anyway. Yes. I went for Grandmasters. Yeah, I, w I went for a Masters one. I think this guy, he watches Gabe a lot, and then sometimes he tries to play himself. I have no way this guy played 30 games. All right, fair. So. I, I like the thought process there. Let's just uh, spin the wheel, see who's right. I know, the, the gameplay actually was so high level, I'd be afraid of playing it. Although the, the SCV count does mess with my head a little bit. There we go. Oof, yeah, yeah. Clean Grandmaster. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I... I yeah, it was definitely between Masters 1 and Grandmaster, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And I, uh, I I also think going Masters 1 is just a little safer, just in case there's something weird going on. And I just yeah. want to get to the playoffs, you know? Yeah, you're the opposite of Artosis. Artosis said he gets it correct or he's completely off. No, no, so, I'll try to play it safe every time. Okay, yeah, I like that. Very safe and solid. I think this is usually the easiest matchup to tell how good the people are, because the macro really shows macro multitasking that kind of stuff. Hmm. I like oh, this, this uh, control. He's going for a 10 Roach opener. But he forgot the Overlords. He's going to be supply block a little bit. And it's only 8 Roaches instead. Or is it still uh, 10? It's, it's, it's 9 Roaches, I think. I think it's pretty good. The, the Terran is going for a counter attack with the mines. Yeah, you, you want to hold the high ground against this. 
It just doesn't feel too great, honestly. No. <laughs> For the Terran. <laughs> but the, defensively. Like, there's Hel Helgen's roasting drones right now. There's only nine drones, like... <laughs> okay, I mean... <laughs> that's nice, I guess, but it still doesn't feel... Ah... Uh, maybe the Zerg wins? One, one, one Liberator? Nah, no way. No I, way. I wanna focus a little more on what they're actually doing there, rather than he's winning. He's remaking 12 drones. Micro's decent. There was a lot of cash, though, for a long time for him as well. Now he's getting mm -hmm. the link speed, but probably shouldn't be building links anymore. Drone's definitely the correct decision. Yeah, okay. This game is completely over. I feel yeah. like the Terran is just really slow in his response, but it could also be because he was mic the Hellions the entire time. Yeah, I think that's fair. We get to see now how what the response time actually is, because nothing really is going on. This is not well, good. Liberator double mine at the front. <laughs> Classic move out. <laughs> <laughs> the six minute double mine liberator of all 15 <laughs> workers. Oh! <laughs> Losing a queen to that is not good. This is a decent chunk of units. And the, the Zerg completely forgot the macro. That is, that was really good. Very clean. <laughs> He's been practicing this for five hours a day in the unit test map. <laughs> 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 forgot to learn a build order. Nah, this is not it. <laughs> Zerg floating so much money. I actually started to believe that this was relatively high level, but now that I'm seeing freaking 3k resources in the bank, yeah, I'm not so I don't sure know. anymore. Like the the question for me with these replays is always like, how many people in Platinum would just straight up die to get to this? Because the roaches were timed properly, you know. Yeah. And then, and then the thing is, would Terran players just also randomly hold this by making like blind tanks in Platinum League? I'm not sure <laughs> about that. Because uh, when I upload these videos, it's like, man, my opponent has two tanks. This build is trash. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? He had a planetary in his main and I lost yeah. all my roaches. <laughs> Not yeah, again. So, no, this is this is slightly tricky. Yeah, if, if, if it stopped earlier, I, I would have probably guessed too high. Mm, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a, it's a very hard one. But I, I, I like the thought. Like, the Terran also was trying to do a real build order. Um... I mean, Both of them did, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, that's good. It's just that the Zerg probably is just an all inner wins most of his games with the initial push or with like the, the, the aftermath of the initial push and then just kind of takes it from there. That's a good point. I didn't actually think too much about that. I tried to not think too much and just let my, my gut feeling speak. And more often than not, my gut is correct. So yeah, I, I already know what I got. I deleted mine already three times. I'm uh, <laughs> uncertain. <laughs> I'm not even sure what my initial gut thought <laughs> was at this point. <laughs> Wait. God damn it. Okay, I, I submitted it. Okay, what is it? Uh, I, I went for Platinum 1. I honestly, I was... I Yeah, I wasn't sure. I think both of them played pretty proper openings, also proper wall. I think the Terran, if, if there was no attack, he would have just had a third CC at this point. And then I, I, I would have went for Diamond at first, but then I... Like, afterwards, it looked... It looked pretty bad, but I don't know. The stutter stab, though. The starter set was so clean, yeah. I, I was between Platinum 1, Diamond 3. That's I, I kept deleting yeah. Diamond 3. Yeah, okay. I went for Diamond 3. I thought it was slightly higher. Just... All-ins yeah. are so good at the lower level. It almost feels unfair in a way. And yeah. also... Yeah, I don't know. The, the response to the like lips... three times. It wasn't even that slow, the response to the lips. Yeah, yeah, um, I know. And there was multitasking going on. Don't forget the Double Mine Liberator walking was happening as well. So, big yeah, stuff happening on the map. Too. Yeah, maybe. I, I could feel it. I definitely could feel it. All right. Spin the wheel hamster and show us what we got. I think these are the hardest, where you get a pretty clean all-in into a really bad, like, oh, area later. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. Nice. Man, I, <laughs> I had diamond all the time, and then I deleted it. It went lower. That's rough. Yeah, that, yeah, that's very rough. It's very, very rough. In the notes of this replay, it says, and I quote, One last thing. Can I please be in the video with Lambo so he can see his roach build? <laughs> yeah, I like so it. So are you proud of him? Yeah, no, he, he did the he did the build quite nicely, I have to say. And uh, yeah, proving that it can work on diamond level because some of the people in my YouTube comments seem to doubt that. Even though I'm being grandmasters with it, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the logic in the YouTube comments isn't always completely sound. <laughs> 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 we'll ignore it for now. <laughs> All right, I'm there. ZVZ. Ooh, tropical sacrifice. My least favorite oh, map. Evo. Oh, he's going plus one melee. It looks like. 
But he was too early. If he wants to go plus one care pace, I would be a little bit disappointed. The fact that he knows to build a fast Evo though is pretty big. Uh, plus one, plus one missile also works. The bro is a little bit weird. <laughs> yeah, a new build. Yeah, he's Mining a lot of cash. This isn't very good, is it? No. It's also not a correct wall there. Like, it's not all the way to the edge, so... I well, guess you can finish he, it. He can, he can finish it at the bottom and then it's yeah. the correct wall. I, it's it's more like the, the red guy is pulling 900 minutes. Yeah, that's not brilliant either. Oh, the burrow! I wish you I think... could see if the, the red guy has a, has a third hatch. But he, the overlords are barely not in position, so probably it does not. There's nah. no creep. Yeah, I don't think so. Look at that micro though. Oh well, not on that one, but on the others. He's just uh, regenerating the health. Spore, of course, because Burrow is coming in, so they realize that detection is necessary. Right. That's smart. This is a wild push though. Not a huge fan of it, but it seems to be working. So perhaps I should be a fan. Uh. <laughs> I'm not sure, man. This is hard. Yeah, but why doesn't he this realize that he's losing the fight? I, I, I watch a lot of diamond players replays, or I, I used to when I did the like, viewer replay analysis, and very mm -hmm. often they stay super low on workers, even if like they're relatively high level, because they're just afraid of dying consistently, so they just keep making units. Right, specifically in CVC, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's... I mean, I don't think this is diamond, but... You think it's lower than diamond? I <laughs> think it's higher than diamond. <laughs> I don't think so, I, mean, but I, 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 I was hoping that you still thought that I can maybe push you in that direction. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so, man. <laughs> if you walk to the cliff, I'll push you off, no problem, my friend. But <laughs> the initial part will be done by you. Nah. So, the, so this hired because... Okay, so the, the build order, it was, it was actually not bad from the, from the guy that we were looking at. The build order from the other guy was pretty bad. Yeah. But the thing is, if you play EVO and you try to go for like a plus one missile attack, which is like... You, you could do this on high level on like Ulrina or something. And then uh, you get all in in the early game, you're just dead because you don't even have Zerling speed, you have nothing. You just have mm -hmm. an Evo. And I think there's a lot of cheeses at lower levels, so I'm not sure how how good this works. Yeah. The, the, the thing though is, is that there was some thought, like he thought about the build, even if the thoughts about the build weren't correct. Like, you know, he tried to optimize it as well with the you know, the EVO timing and all of that stuff, it felt somewhat okay when it came to that. Yeah, they, the... they both went hatch gas pool as well. Yeah, uh, which is like a, a proper hatch gas pool. Yeah. But I didn't see that, or I don't know what a proper hatch gas pool is, but it felt good. You know, I was looking at it, I was like, hmm, this, this smells all right to me. But I, it, I don't know, it seems unlikely that this gets you to a very high level, because, I don't know, it just doesn't feel that safe. And that good either. Like, there's surely better builds than this to play standard. All right, uh, I think I know what I got. I deleted again. I think I think I should stop deleting stuff. <laughs> My first impression was better last time as well. <laughs> yeah. Even in the first one, I thought it was grandmaster. I, every single time it got worse. My first impression <laughs> was like platinum three. I went down to gold. gold okay. One. Mine was platinum too, and I, I like I said, I stick with my gut feeling. So let's see if the gut is beating your your brain once more. I have a very powerful stomach, though, so you'd be surprised. Holy oh. man, that guy! Oh, oh my god, that's so bad. Oh, that I is didn't... so bad. It's because the other guy was link flooding with nine hundred minerals. It was not even a, like a proper link flood would have won in the game. Really? That's what got me. The, the plus one missile. Damn it. I guess it didn't. Overall, it wasn't that much worse than the game before, right? Like, it was pretty bad. I think I, it was pretty. Bad. The, it was, like they they both went they both went hatch gas pool, which I think should have should have meant what meant more. more. But the guy like went uh, went out with his queen. I guess to the night vision, and he, but he, then he just lost it against the links. His overlords were in position properly. I don't know. Not a good game. Not a good game at all. All right, Hamster. What do we have last? I'm a huge fan of North American PvP. What's the chance we're gonna see a cannon rush? No, non-existent anymore. Oh, low ground one. 
Yeah, but not a, an actual one gate expand. Yeah, he also stopped making workers there. And yeah, the blind this... zealot, that's good as well. Yeah, it doesn't make a lot. Okay, I've never seen this. A forge in <laughs> the wall for a, for a quick plus one. And there's DTs, which I don't think there's detection yet. <laughs> this is it's an interesting game. <laughs> Hello, DTs. <laughs> I wonder if the red player is aware of the fact that DTs are invisible or he thinks it's just a really strong unit. And these guys <laughs> hit hard, only two supply, that's crazy. <laughs> it's like that's a powerful zealot. zealot. Yeah, it really does. It doesn't get the charge though, so it's really a toss up between the <laughs> two. Look at the DTs, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, first of the ramp though. That's a high level move. I mean, just being aware of the fact that DTs exist surely gets you out of like the bottom leagues because detection is is difficult to get. Well, it's difficult to come by. if you lose them like this. Like if you make DTs as your main force and you just stay on your side of the map with them, then <laughs> not sure how far that gets you. <laughs> I'm not sure either. But we also get a goose force field. That's two force fields. That's impressive. Lots of cash in the bank though. There's an observer on the way. Another interesting thought here is that most likely blue is going to end up winning and i can't really see it happen at this point because he submitted the replay or what? yeah 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 people that submit the replay 99 percent of the time win it's very very rare that they lose oh oh he's oh. made it only <laughs> that's all <laughs> <laughs> there's no detection well the other guy doesn't even probably know it. invisible units he doesn't get him. it <laughs> <laughs> it's pro just disappearing what's this crap Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> the game is bugged. <laughs> we saw uh, the name there as well because it was the winning animation. Yeah. This guy is one of your subscribers. Maybe you have a... Have a, have a, have a, a leg up? Is that what you say? I, I don't know. Maybe I don't you know it entirely. No, no clue. I try to know as little about my subscribers as possible. Yeah, it keeps the mental health at a very high level. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh. This is rough, though. I lost my confidence after the last guess entirely. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, just just listen, <laughs> listen to the stomach. What does it say? In my I, mind, I submitted it instantly without thinking really? this time. Okay, oh, it is great. Okay, I'll I'll I'll, I'll rationalize what I have. I'm thinking DTs are very powerful. So if someone knows how to build a Dark Shrine this early on in the game, you're going to win a lot of games as the blue one. Um, the other player did some weird expand build, but with a wall, which is probably good at lower levels as well. And also knew about the DTs as a tool. So that's really a double. He knew, <laughs> how, he knew how yeah. to wall and he knew how to build DTs. And I think that pretty much just puts you straight up in, in flat in my mind. So I think I, I have a decent idea what I'm going to guess. Um, you can review first. <laughs> yeah, I, I went gold three. I uh, I thought that was bad, to be honest. Gold but three, I, okay. I yeah. I went platinum one. I think you. Oh, it's an A. Wait, then I'm you correct. Oh, wait, an A is higher, right? Uh, yeah, no, no one knows the logic about an A. I just okay, always okay. say that Americans are worse. But wouldn't you realize that the T's are invisible and they're not attacked, so you send them in? You know, like he kept running back with them and stuff. Nah. In platinum, no? No, I don't think so. I don't think he understands. You just. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think he does. That's okay. Look, we're not okay, all. Okay. We don't play this game five hours a day. Uh, it's yeah, just. Uh... I, I, this was a rough episode for me. I'm telling you already. I think. Yeah, I, I think it's probably higher than I guessed. Yeah, I think so too. Let's spin the wheel and figure out. Oh, this is an exciting one. I have a very good feeling about platinum. What did platinum. you say, plat one? Yeah, I said plat one. I said plat one. No shot. Gold <clears> one. <throat> Platinum one, I think, is too high for sure, but... Ah, it's Americans, in it? I was gonna go for Plat 2 as well, but then I thought, we are in America, and I went for Plat 1. I would have been closer, but... Yeah, yeah, shouldn't have rationalized. This is the problem, see? You start thinking, and things start going wrong. I'm I'm telling you this. I should, If I played the entire episode without thinking, I would have been better. But still, the yeah. Diamond 2 one was insane. Wait, yeah, so yeah how much that one would have gotten me anyway. All right, Hamster, reveal the score before Lambo calculates it. <laughs> well, Mr. Harstam, actually with a very decent run of 10 points. Congratulations. 10 points, 10 points is very good. Lambo uh, lost and also is definitely out of the playoffs with 14 points. That's rough. That's rough. Uh, what can you do? The, can you do? The, the diamond... I can't believe I, I've been gotten by the ZVZ. 
is it? <laughs> That's the guy that got me, really. Yeah. Man. I guess you just wish that the, the standards were a bit higher. But it is what it is. With one more week to go in Hearthstone vs. The World, we saw Juggernaut take back the lead with 13 points in first place, Skylake in second, closely followed by four more guessers with 15 points each. I myself am not doing too poorly either at rank 50 with a solid 22 points. Last week we had a cheeky 4-gate Zealot Rush, a couple of spines being put down as a response and a nice run by as well coming out of the Zerg. However, the Protoss player seemed to be infinitely far ahead even after a Baneling bus took out the four proxy gateways that were on the map. A Zerg attack gets launched but gets stopped rather easily by a couple of Stalker Warpins, which then in turn move across the map to die into two Spines and four Queens. Nice. I really want to know who won this. I think it's still the Toss, but the decision making here was so low tier that I'm not even quite sure. This is a really difficult one because I, I really think there are there's like a level to this, you know, where it's like, okay, four gate proxy. If you do this every single game or every single matchup, you're just going to win a lot of games. It's also America. I just don't know actually what the correct call is here. I I actually have no clue. It, it feels like it should be high level, but at the same time, it also shouldn't be because it was bad. Um, Yeah. God, God this is rough. All right. Um, I don't know. I actually don't know. And there was some control, I guess. Both on the Zealots, there was a response. The early game was okay. Uh, I think I'm just gonna... Yeah. I'll go for what I did last week. I'll play Diamond 3. This week, the people voted for Platinum 1, while their second choice was Diamond 3. Your second choice, however, was my first, as I went for Diamond 3 myself. So let's see who is correct this week. And I know it's gonna be me because I'm the perfect second choice. Mm. Yeah, that's me! There we go. And that is why your second choice should always be your first. Quick reversal there. Good tip out of me. Nice. All right, for the final Hearthstone vs. The World, we have a Protoss vs. Zerg with a forge in the wall. Oh my God. It's happening again. <laughs> this is one that is two base. Okay. Two base lair, Evo Chamber in the natural. Of course, a, a quick plus one melee rush, having speed, and then playing a Nidus Roach. Spreading creep as well, rather than saving energy on those queens. Beautiful, brilliant play. Nidus will go up, of course. I mean, there's nothing spotting the edge. The T drop is hitting way too late. Should be hitting like a minute ago or so. And I'm not even sure if it's going to be a drop or just a slow warp in. Could also be possible. Two more gates. So it's going to be like DT into charge. Probes get pulled though, which is interesting. And it was a forge opener as well, which is also interesting. Is there a DT warp in? Surely there is. I think I saw DT slashing those. Uh... Yeah, yeah, okay. There's a DT there. I definitely saw it for sure now. Okay, what is this? More links coming in. Nexus has died. Is there a counter? Look at this double Evo behind this. Oh, this is brilliant. This is brilliant. You take out both of your opponents next side and then you beat them with 1-1-1 one, one, one upgrades against the counter attack. Way better than adding five or six roaches into this push is to go double Evo and two upgrades. This is the type of brilliant plays that I need in my life as well. Okay, these DTs are fixing this. God, if only you had some money left over by canceling these upgrades and it could have flown over with the over. Why is there overshares at home? Why are there two overshares at home? Well, he still was nice thing. Why was that happening? I mean, now it makes sense because there's a DT. How did it walk in? Is there a prism? It is being micro as well. I guess to be fair, Toss really has nothing to do anymore. Wait, Toss has 25 works. This game is an absolute trip. Holy crap. Yeah, let's just let's just look at what's happening. Let's observe for a second. 71 supply against 40. We have 1-1-1 one, one, one upgrade. Overlord speed, probably to catch the DTs. Oh my god, I actually have no clue what this is. I feel like the extra, the, the control wasn't even that bad. But the build order was so ex insanely bad that it hurt my head. This guy rushed out plus one, delayed his layer for that to go into a two base with one mineral line mining, Roach Knight is all in. Like this is absolutely not a build. This is such a negative build. 
that I feel like just randomly you should be capable of getting better ones than this. But I have a feeling he actually thought this one out and practiced it against AI. All right, I think I stalled long enough now to have a decent guess. With a respectable 14 points, Lambo still only slots into ninth, showing how competitive this season really is. Next week, we will welcome our last guest. And until then, Arrivederci.